Yes, sir, ski. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy 2K's FIFA Reaper back with another video, man. Now, this is a video I didn't even see coming. This is bad dreams. This is the first story not even I knew about. The story of three Arsenal players going to jail. The story of three Arsenal players that inevitably saw their life change altogether. Now, before I get into the video, obviously, these players are way older, so there will be a limited amount of clips in this video. Also, guys, Guys, please smash that like button as my boy Kingsley says man disfigure that like button we need it my young Kings and not only just that but huge thank you to everyone allowing me to get to 2,000 subscribers and for that we have a series of videos coming that I had planned for later but I had to give you guys these bangers soon Adams on the award but I'd like to say thank you to uh, my teammates uh, John Lukic, Viv Anderson I'm gonna mention them all by the way sorry Tony was ahead of that success, and he was lifting up trophies, you know, 21, 22 years of age. I mean, he must have thought, this is, this is easy, this career, this is, this is simple. Starting with our captain, Mr. Arsenal, the infamous wall of our dominance in the late 1980s to early 90s under George Graham, the man responsible for helping us begin to create serious foundations as a club before the man himself, Arsene Wenger, the only man to ever captain three league winning teams in three different decades. Tony Adams' story just doesn't end with him lifting a league title. It just doesn't end with moments of happiness. There was dark periods as well. Tony Adams once almost had to spend an entire year in prison for an incident stemming back all the way to his playing days. Notoriously known for his drunk driving, Tony Adams couldn't control it just this one night. After drinking, Tony Adams once went behind the wheel. This was regular, but just this one night, everything changed. Tony Adams went on to avoid several cars after driving late at night to near crashes before eventually hitting a wall in Essex. Tony Adams would then go on to Sporting Chance Clinic to help athletes literally deal with drinking drugs and on gambling addiction. But that's just Tony Adams. Now this is way before my time, but former Arsenal legend for the classic Arsenal fans will know who this man is, but for the people my age, let me explain. This is Peter's story. That's all this play. So it's Arsenal's throw with uh, George Armstrong. Over the head of skills to Kennedy. Now Radford and Graham leaping at that far side. And Story to Hamid! And a goal! You've got to give it to Story! Arsenal legend represented England only 19 times in his career but he literally played over 350 games for Arsenal one of the club's all-time fullbacks that you've never heard of and defensive midfielders that grace the red and white but that's not what we care about we care about his four appearances in prison cells this guy lived in prison with other minor callings that lasted even a day or so that stem into the double figures once being caught for car theft and got a two-year sentence guys 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 I I really just want to say it's very clear you didn't get paid back then because my guy was robbing cars while he played for Arsenal. And I also left out smuggling, pornographic movies, and simply disorderly behavior and counterfeit. It's almost ridiculous at this point that my guy was literally doing all this while still playing for the carpet, the beautiful Arsenal Football Club. Peter Story, welcome to the channel, my king. You will be remembered. But how'd you expect me to forget this man? Ian Wright, one of the club's highest goal scorers scores ever netting 185 goals for the club being the highest goal scorer i honestly can't even contest that he still has the biggest amount of admiration from the fans due to still being with the club in terms of social media presence and love but his story actually wasn't even that bad obviously having a rough upbringing but guys check this out ian wright literally spent weeks in jail just literally and actually chemford's jail for literally just driving cars without licenses now a dangerous feat that could easily see you caught for years if it's done multiple times in offense ian wright went on to say that he literally learned a lot from that moment spending weeks in the jail he literally thought he could get away with something totally avoidable he could have easily had just paid the money for his taxes on those cars but uncle ian my guy uncle ian after owing two cars at the time didn't pay for his insurance or his taxes guys on either and landed himself in jail for a couple of weeks now he didn't have the craziest story of the three but it's just funny, Ian Wright, one of our greatest ever players, actually went to prison. And he literally went to prison for a couple days. Now guys, footballers don't often end up in jail. 
Normally, they often go on to have these great, illustrious careers, or they move on to different parts of the game, or they're even literally journeyman that bounce from club to club, or they maybe not even ever touch professional football, or they just simply retire. These guys were different. They had a moment that could have changed everything forever. Guys, so much heat is coming. This is literally the lightest shit you guys are probably going to get in my next couple of videos. But guys, I need you guys to disfigure the like button as the hobie says. Guys, please hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell, my guy.